have to be a little quiet because Hayden is going down for his nap. But there's a cockroach in the house, in the lounge room. It went under the couch and I'm not going in the lounge room anymore, so I'm gonna record a video. This video is a high school tag. I am obviously no longer in high school, but I'm gonna do this tag anyway. What grade are you in? Obviously we don't A call them grades, we call them years. And B, I graduated, so I made it to year 12. Um, I'm now in university, technically doing a second year unit of a three year course in my fifth year. We're gonna ignore that. What is your favorite subject or what was your favorite subject? Um, my favorite subject was probably chemistry. I'm, I'm gonna go off like year 11 and 12 high school. Um, I enjoyed the teacher. It was challenging but I could make sense of it. Obviously I enjoyed music and sport. When it got to year 11 and 12, music got way too hard. And like the thing I thrived the most in was actually English and I enjoyed English, but I look back and wish I did more chemistry study because I liked it and I like it now. What cliques are there in your school? Um, we didn't really have cliques like uh, American schools seem to have but we did have like the groups that sort of generally hung together there was yeah I'm starting to realize all our groups were sort of like the specialty classes there was the smart guys or smart people because um, there was definitely a girl in that group and then there was the dance people then the netball then the football then the people that just slacked off and didn't really show up and quit by 11 and 12 and then there was us <laughs> and then there was a couple of little stray stragglers around um i gravitated more towards the people that didn't fit anywhere else but we were quite a large group like we weren't the, the misfits there you go we'll call us the misfits um or i just sat with naomi and tamika what subject did you hate the most and why that would definitely be physics because of the teacher i could do an entire video on how much i hated my physics teacher and how annoying he was. Didn't show up on time. There was a couple of times where we were just waiting outside class for, eight, for over 20 minutes waiting for him to show up. Explained things wrong and then he was the worst teacher I have ever had. And I had a teacher that called us C-U-N-T-S in primary school and get, got me in detention for, for getting my library bag when my mum worked at the library so I just left my books with her on a regular basis so I had that sort of teacher and she was still better than this physics teacher he was just really frustrating he brought in radioactive isotopes and then left the room and left us with it with it and just like ordered us to touch it and stuff and I was like I don't know how bad how dangerous this is I would prefer not to and he sort of just jokingly writ off all our wrote off all our concerns and sort of forced us into it which I did not like um he didn't I I stayed out of it but poor Naomi got Naomi was one of my close friends she got dragged into holding this radioactive isotope and another example is Bunsen burner flames if you've done science then hopefully you know that the orange flame is the safe flame and the blue flame is the hotter flame you don't want to touch the blue flame but when the orange flame is orange you can like pass your hand through the flame. It's like a flame, it's hot, but it's not the d most dangerous flame. It's not too hot, if that makes sense. Me and Naomi were working together and there was like the lab bench and on top of some of the lab benches was like a shelving unit. And I said to him that I wasn't sure if we should be using the Bunsen burners under the shelving unit. And he was like, it's fine as long as it's on the blue flame. And I was like, wouldn't it be the yellow orange flame that's safer? And we had a massive argument in the middle of class about which flame was safer because he thought the blue flame was the safe flame and the orange flame was dangerous. And I kept saying, well, sir, look, orange flame, I can pass my hand through it and it's not burning me. Would you like to do that to the blue flame? And he refused to. And he was just really frustrating. Who are your best friends at school? Um, when I first started high school, I was a complete loner. I remember Naomi and Kirsten were friends from primary school 
um, and I was sitting under a tree drawing a picture of leaves in a book and they came over and that was the first time they talked to me and they started I honestly did they just sat next to me but that sort of continued they kept coming to sit next to me and we became good friends um, I drifted away from Kirsten a bit uh, but me and Amy stayed good friends even after high school ended and at some point year nine I think it was I met Tamika uh, we actually got off on the wrong foot and did not like each other at all to begin with but obviously we're best friends now and can't get much closer how many subjects did you do and what are they I mean I did the basics <laughs> math science has humanities and social science s &E is what we used to call it society and environment back then I think it's changed again you sort of lose lose track s &E or SOS um, and now it's Hass, and now it's something else, but yeah, that one. Um, and then I did art for a bit, and music, and sport. And then I sort of, once we got to year 11 and 12, I took maths 3AB, 3CD. I wish I did a lower math, like I just failed that unit, and I would have learned so much more if I did a math more suited to my level. I, I enjoy math. And I didn't enjoy that because it was just too too hard. Chemistry, physics, I wanted to do biology, they didn't offer it, so I was gonna do human biology instead. And I wish I did, but instead I did music because I was good at music. Likeable subject, if you know what I mean. But it turns out year eleven and twelve music is hard and it is not something to take lightly. I probably shouldn't have done it to be honest because there is a large part of it that is not theory, it's performing and I wasn't a very good performer, like I could play my instrument well but doing solo performances was just not me, I'm really, I was good, I was actually probably really good but solo I was not made out for solo performances <laughs> Chemistry, Physics, Maths, oh, English, you had to do English, so I did English 3AB and Music and for the start of year 11, I did a certificate um, uh, creative industries, that's it. I did a bit of a certificate in creative industries, but the teacher was another one of those. I just didn't get along with the teacher and the class itself. I was getting the work done super quick, super easy, but then we were just getting stuck in it because other people weren't bothering to do the work and it was just a headache I didn't need to do, so I dropped it and chose to have a study class. Are you, Slant, have you ever been a teacher's pet? Pretty sure I have. Um, primary school, definitely. High school, not so much. I don't think I was ever a teacher's pet in high school, but I definitely was a light student in high school. Like I was polite to teachers. I was nice, usually did my work on time, never really was late and that sort of stuff. Are you part of your band, school band, choir, music school society? Yes, I was. I was part of the school band. I did choir a little bit, but yeah, I, I did choir um, in the lower grades. It was right when our music teacher, right before the concert, she had a surgery or something and she had to leave. And so she got in a like professional choir teacher and she basically said that we weren't ready and we sucked and we couldn't do the concert and I'm like seriously like it's our concert for our families it doesn't like if we're happy to do it why can't we sing badly in the concert um and I never did the school choir again I, th I think I might have like helped out occasionally but I never like properly sang in the school choir but I was a big part of the school uh concert band do you participate in any sports at school uh high school I didn't do any sports I just did you know, the normal sports subject and snuck into dance a couple of times. What is your favorite school meal? I'm assuming it's talking about like school canteen meals and the canteen, okay, maybe I was not a teacher's pet, but I was the canteen lady's pet. They always knew what I wanted and I always used to go in there before school and chat with them and stuff. Start of high school, I always got a yogurt and then it changed to these different snack pack custard things that they had. And then it changed to these um, little cakes that they had. And then it changed to 
chocolate icy pops and I sort of just rotated through those four things and I would get them every time from the canteen like I never got proper food I just got chocolate things so I was the chocolate girl to the canteen ladies no surprise there pardon nothing's changed yeah Luke just said nothing's changed did you ever ditch school uh not technically we occasionally skipped assembly because no one likes listening to our, our principal principal that sounded weird when I said it our principal was a very slow speaker and he every second word was an um or an ah and it was painful to listen to him talk so it was not unusual for people to skip assembly and sneak off somewhere um, a couple of times the teachers would actually let us stay in the classroom and work instead of going to assembly and a lot of us chose to do that if I ever skipped a class it was to go to another class um, so I never really ditched school and if I ever was off school sick I was at the kindy with mum so I was even at another school what is the craziest thing that has happened at school does it mean like to me personally or in general because in general would be some idiot did a backflip off the balcony which is a high balcony like it's second story but it's like large stories and broke his neck and I don't think he ended up dying but he was in a coma for a while so that was crazy and a little sad otherwise the craziest thing that happened to me was probably outside chemistry there was this year nine I was year 12 at the time I think 11 or 12 and there was this year nine holding a baby bird by the wing a little swallow and like throwing him throwing it around in the air by the wing and I was very social socially anxiety just a mess but I walked right over and literally took the bird out of his hand and if I didn't have hold of that bird I was going to punch someone in the face for the first time in my life so yeah that happened and that was probably the craziest thing definitely walked in between a couple of fights just to break up the fight because no one liked punching me for some reason so it was a good tactic excuse me lighting didn't really do much crazy stuff show us your yearbook picture don't have my yearbook picture my yearbook died in my starlet because it lived under the seat for too long and it's it's long gone but uh basically for some bizarre reason i forgot about yearbooks and when we were lining up to have our photos taken for year 12 uh because we got our photos taken every year and like it was just pictures that got sent to your parents like there wasn't really a reason for it uh, occasionally it got put on your student card like in year eight and that was it but as we were lining up everyone was like fully stressing about their appearance doing their makeup doing their hair and i sat there and i was like why are people stressing so much it's just a photo and so as sort of like a joke i sat there and literally scruffled up my hair got my picture taken with my hair looking crazy and i looked like an idiot and then afterwards they were like, you realise that was for your school yearbook forever. I was like, crap. I just didn't even think about it. Whatever, I wasn't going to look good anyway, so might as well look worse. Have you ever been in detention? Uh, as I said before, I got in detention in primary school. But I literally got to the principal's office and she let me sit in there and read a book because it was a stupid reason for going to detention and the teacher was stupid. I've also been in like class detention for I think it was Indonesian where like the whole class or like a majority of people in the class were messing up so everyone had to stay back what do you like the most about your school what did you like the most about your school I didn't have a very good experience with school but compared to Bullsbrook Govo was a lot better in like every single way possible I guess I liked my friends I liked Actually, the thing I liked most about high school was honestly probably working with Tamika and Naomi to write our story. Um, Naomi didn't end up, or she rewrote the story so many times I lost track of which storyline was the right one. Um, but Tamika and me definitely got into writing our story and we worked on it a lot and that was my favourite thing about school. It's not really related to why my school is good, but anyway. What do you hate the most about your school? Um, Probably just some of the teachers, to be honest. Who is your favourite teacher and why? She was our year eight science teacher, our relief teacher, and our form teacher for nine and ten, I think. She was the best teacher ever. 
so relatable. She was so engaging, like, she was just a really, really nice person. For example, everyone else was meant to be making eco houses and she let us make eco gingerbread houses and took money out of her own pocket to get us the extra supplies to make gingerbread houses that were eco-friendly and whatnot. And like, she just made learning so fun. Me, Naomi and Tamika worked in the library um, and she paid us in like $50 vouchers each term for working in the library, just putting the books away and stuff. I missed out on getting a cake uh, for my birthday. She always brought, people always brought in a cake, but one year I was sick for my birthday or away or something was on or something. Um, and she, the next year, came in, she wasn't my teacher in my class at that time, but she came into my form class with a cake and she'd remembered Naomi had a birthday the year before tasted this cake that I'd never tasted before it was from the cheesecake shop they don't even make it anymore it's so sad but I was really surprised how much I liked this cake and the next year over a year later she came in and had brought me the cake remembering which one it was and that I liked it and was shocked how much I liked it like over a year later she just brought me a cake into form class and remembered it, I'm just mind blown by her compassion but yeah she was she was my favorite high school teacher but there was a, quite a few like my chemistry teacher and my math teacher and a couple of teachers I did like as well obviously give your best advice on surviving high school try and remember that your teachers are people too try and treat them nicely remember that they have their bad days and off days and whatnot and it's always good to get to know your teachers, um, except the physics ones. Comment below if you have a nice physics teacher and I'll apologise to them, but anyway. I don't know, I don't think I really survived high school, so I probably don't have a very good advice, but yeah. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up to see more tags. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye peoples!